As I was writing this, I thought, how can I make a piece that's truly immersive, where the audience has to be involved? I don't want technicians here in, at a table in the corner doing sound and lights, because then it's a piece of theater and it just looks like we stuck it somewhere. Um, so the only lighting we have are these lights that we hang, and then there's flashlights for the audience to light the puppets. Um, so John Elkhorn composed the music and got a group of musicians together and recorded it, and then we had them press. So when I say maestro music, please, anyone in the audience is encouraged to get up and put the record on. You know, to give the audience the puppet and say, just hold it and walk away is, I think, extraordinary. It's a, a trust level between the performer and, and the people who don't want to drop this. I have no comfort zone. I don't have any of my old tricks. There's no backstage ritual. There's no walk on stage with them sitting out there and I can do my thing. Um, there's no comfort zone because once it starts, I'm walking around and interacting with a hundred people and that's a hundred different personalities who've all had a day, who all have a life experience. <laughs> I think the most expensive puppet in the show that's on stage for about 15 seconds is this bear on a unicycle who can ride the unicycle, play the cymbals and his head spins. And I wish I could show you the understructure because it's all beautiful aluminum and steel and um, uh, 3D printed things to make all of this happen, but we just covered it up and make it look like a big stuffed toy. But <laughs> What we find is people don't want to say goodbye. And so when they have to put them back here, um, it's very tender sometimes of seeing how people regard their farewell with their other and, you know, and, and how they lay it back in the thing. I think the biggest surprise is a lot of people in my world said, what, you're going to give people puppets during the show and you're going to let them hold the marionettes and what if they drop them in? And I said, they're not going to. I actually, I actually know audiences well enough that if you give someone something beautiful, they're going to take that seriously. And that's as authentic as you can get. So I think the surprise is how people regard this stuff seriously in the moment it happens. And that, I think, is where the real immersion comes. Because I'm a sweater. I'm really sweaty 10 minutes into the show. And I'm closer than this to most people during the show. So if I come up to you and say, please hold that, there's no, there's no bartering about it. It's like, please hold that, and I walk away. And I trust that you're going to hold it, and people do. Thank you.